Hello! My name is Michelle Bryant, owner of Bryant's Tax, Logistics, and Accounting Services, LLC. <laughs> Coming to you with another video. Um, I just want to do a short video, not too long. I won't be talking all night. Like my other videos, they were too long. So I said, you know, let me start doing these short videos. Let's see how this goes. You know, something short, sweet, straight to the point. You know, you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, just a little introduction for those who are new. Um, my name is Michelle Bryant. Um, I'm an owner of Bryant's Tax Logistics and Accounting Services. I have over 20 years of experience in the tax industry. Also, over 23 years of experience in the logistics industry. I know everything trucking. I have never driven a truck, but I worked in the office and I have receipts, honey. So when you train by the owners of a trucking company that goes all the way from Florida to New York, you got to have those receipts, baby. And you got to know what you're talking about because you're dealing with per diem, demerge, uh, payroll insurance, uh, DOT audits. Uh, safety stuff, all kind of stuff. So I know how to do all that. I'm the queen of trucking. Okay. <laughs> but I also have a website and the information will be in the description below. Um, it's www.bryanstaxlogistics.com. I also have a ebook. So you want to be a trucker. And it just goes over information about trucking. Also give you some good information about having a Sprinter van, things you can do with your personal vehicle. Just a few ideas out there that's in that book as well. Also, I'm going to be starting a dispatching course, e-learning course. Um, that's going to be my first launch of an e-learning course. So therefore, I'm going to be offering this course at a low, low, low rate under a hundred dollars for six weeks okay you can email me for more information or if you're interested uh, it's going to be for six weeks under a hundred dollars and i'm only accepting a limited amount of people so stay tuned for more information my contact information will be in the description box below so let's get started today it's going to be about truckers and taxes taxes and truckers just go over a few things that you need to know about deductions. What if you are aware of it? Um, some of you may not be aware of it, but just to clarify, just a little bit of info. If you have any questions or if you want me to discuss a certain topic, please reach out to me. Send me an email and I'll discuss it on, on my upcoming video. First thing first, per diem. Per diem for owner operators now. Company drivers used to get per diem. Well, because of the Tax Cut Job Act that started in 2018, company drivers are no, no longer able to claim the per diem deduction. But on the operators, you can. Okay? You can't claim your per diem deduction. Okay? So just remember to have your tax person, accountant, whoever, put that on your Schedule C. Okay? Because I've seen some past tax returns for owner operators that did not have any per diem deductions on there. And the reason being some people who are tax professionals, accountants or whatever, they don't understand all of the deductions and stuff for truck drivers. It's very hard because if you never worked in that industry, all that stuff is like a different language. Okay. It's trucking. You know, we got our own lingo. Okay, when it comes to payroll and deductions and all that stuff, everything totally different. So that's why you got me. Reach out to me. I can get you right. Okay. All right. Next thing is to go over the interest deductions. <clears throat> if you have a loan out there pertaining to your business, credit card for your business, even if you're purchasing a truck, <clears throat> well, you can't deduct the interest on your taxes. You can get that interest deduction. All right, so that's another deduction there. Home office, all right? You're doing all your paperwork at home, making phone calls at home, working for home. Well, you can get that home office deduction, 
okay? You can get that deduction. Even if you have your child helping you out working for you, you can pay your child and have it deducted from your your uh, taxes, okay? So hit me up for more information. Insurances. Oh, you got bobtail insurance, physical damage insurance, all these different liability insurance. You got all these different insurances that cost so much money. If you are, if you have your own authority, it costs even more. If you're an owner operator, it costs money, you know, so you can deduct that. You can deduct that. DOT physical, drug test, sleep apnea test. Since they started implementing the sleep apnea test, you can deduct all that. You can deduct that on your taxes. Company drivers, your W-2 employees, unfortunately, you're not able to deduct, to deduct a lot of the items that an owner-operator would deduct. And the reason being because you're a W-2 employee, you're employee of the company. But if you start a side business from home, hmm, you can deduct some of that stuff. So think of a little side, little business, lawn care or, or whatever, you know, you can do call center, you know, answer a few calls or do something on the side, right? And you become a business owner and you can deduct some of your expenses, right? Retirement plan for company drivers, a lot of the employers offer retirement plans because you are a W-2 employee. So you want to be able to sign up for 401k. If you're able to put in the max, put in the max. Some say 15% is good. 15% is a lot for me to come out of my paycheck. I don't know about you, but it's a lot for me to come out of my paycheck. So I can't deduct no 15%. But deduct 6%. Deduct 10%. Deduct something. Okay, because the, the more you have coming out of your check for 401k, okay, the less you have to pay in taxes. And that's the key. So you save it for your future while paying less in tax. Even an IRA. Now, a traditional IRA, you can get a deduction for. But you know, Roth is better because you pay your taxes up front right and then you make the deposit but you don't get no deduction for that but i like traditional better because i get my deduction from my taxes with traditional ira which is an individual retirement account and i can take the money out at the time when it's time for me to withdraw the money and i don't know what my tax situation would be at that time maybe i pay less tax i don't know but i'm willing to take that chance okay so that's a good way as well to, you know, get your deduction, get more back in uh, refund money or pay less taxes if you if you um, end up having to pay. All right. So this is going to be nice and short. I didn't want it to be too long. Send me an email info at bryantstaxlogistics.com. You can go to my website, www.bryantstaxlogistics.com, or you can type in my name in the search bar. Michelle Bryant. Okay, I'm on Google and Bing. All right, if you want to hit me up, um, the deadline is July 15th. For corporations, that deadline has passed, but I can still do your taxes. So, and even if you just need some guidance, I do one on one sessions to get your, to talk about whatever you need to talk about to get your business in order. Okay, I do one on one sessions. Um, I do everything. Whatever you need, I, I'm here for you. So reach out to me. Thank you. Have a good evening. Goodbye.